All right, here's our chance to go ahead and do it again. We've got seven times 14. So now we're going to think about, again, using that distributive model. So we want to break apart that 14, but we can also incorporate the area model as well to represent those tens and ones. So let's go ahead and let's get started. First, just like we did with the previous video, we broke apart, and actually we broke apart 14, you guys. So feeling pretty confident right here that this 14 is really one group of 10, so 10, and four ones. So we've broken it apart. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't need to remember that each one needs to be multiplied by that seven. So with that being said, thinking about that, and I'm actually thinking that let's go ahead and let's draw our box like this. And I'm going to draw my 7 right here. And I know that if we had that 14, that's a group of 10 and 4 extra ones. Do you see how this 10 right here and this 4 makes the number 14? It's kind of a helpful tool to help us organize our thinking and not forget to multiply any numbers. So what we're doing is now we need to multiply just like from up here, seven times 10. So seven times 10. That will give us our partial product. Then we need to add it to our seven. Don't forget, seven times four. So what we've done is we've shown you two different models right here. So I can actually just go ahead and start finding out what my partial products are. 7 times 10 is 70, okay, so I can write it right here, and I'm going to mirror that over here, and I'm going to place my partial product in the box. And then I know that 7 times 4 is 28, but again, that's not my entire product of my question, 7 times 14, that's just a part, so that's a partial product. 7 times 4 is 28. Now, we need to go ahead and add our partial products together. So over here, you can just kind of envision that there is like a plus sign, you guys. So 70 plus 28. I'm not sure if you guys ever do this, but what I'm looking at is my ones right now. And I'm like, oh, I see actually eight ones. And I see seven tens and two tens. I know that seven tens plus two tens is nine tenths, and I place it in my tens column. So that tells me that seven times 14 is dun, 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 98. You guys, this is the distributive model, and this is the area model. Either model that you choose to use will help you solve this math equation. We want you to use what you feel most comfortable with. All right, rock stars, go ahead and rock that next part away.